Hi everyone, just a very quick yeah, technical solution and just want to show you again how Xnerves is shining again. And if you want to learn the full step-by-step -step process of modeling a Porsche 911 from scratch, I've created a brand new course that teaches you industry standard techniques with easy to use plasticity tools. You will master everything from creating precise curves to producing high quality complex surfaces and blending seamless transitions all broken down into simple steps so if you're ready to use plasticity in incredible never before seen ways check out first link in the description for all of the details and now let's dive in into our today's video so I'm practicing here this really cool <laughs> I don't know what this is like a robot vacuum cleaner concept uh, it has beautiful forms and so I've set it up here already a few things, right? And now I have a nice five-sided hole. And now if I want to patch it, so if I first patch it, looks fine. But then when I start to give here G1s, then it just breaks. Here it works, but here it breaks, even though I was sure that this top edge here is continuous but it's not because if we just go to the top view we see it's stretching a little bit over this distance here right so i don't know how that could happen but yeah sometimes you just miss something in your workflow or you just work too fast so we have to fix that and a very simple way is so without like rebuilding like all of those curves and the surfaces we can just so if you have something like that where you have an edge in the middle, but it's going a little bit over. I don't know how to explain it. You can just extrude this because now you can just take this middle point. So this edge, which ends at this middle point and uh, the edge where you want to connect it. So you connect them, uh, select them both and shift B. So bridge edge command and just G1. So now you see we have here G1 again. And because we've extruded this face, we can just select this curve, press C, cut into our surface from the top and just delete it and delete the curve. And now you see it works fine. But again, most of the time patch works fine, but you see we have yeah, a pretty um, yeah, complex surface. So what happens if we patch it and we give it here G1 and here G1, Bam, we get in this example, <clears throat> this edge. I mean, if this curve would be a little bit different, maybe it would work, but in this example, it does not work. And I would not want to rebuild everything. So what I could do is x -nerve it, but I will show you in a second how just quickly we can do it with x nerves. But if we would have patch, I don't know, I would just create here maybe an extra curve. So create two extra edges, shift B again with G0. But then you see you have to guess a lot. So I would uh, subdivide the curve and adjust the curve here a little bit. So we have a little bit of a rounding, but you see it's a lot of guessing work and I don't like that. So we would have to loft this and give here G0. So this would work. And if you press four and join everything and now patch should work with here G1, here G1, and here G1. But you see, again, we get a lot of mess. So I would have to spend much more time. So you see, I can't just quickly fix it. But now again, Xnerves shines because if you just select everything and you just smash an Xnerve and you give here G1, here G1, uh, then you see it's, look, it's exactly what I want. So if we look here at the little booty of our little robot here, so where's the little booty? Here, you see, I mean, this handle at the top, I will add now on top. So, but if you just imagine this robot without this handle, you see we get this absolutely perfectly smooth surface. So I will close now the sole and then I will start to create this handle. And yeah, again, just a very quick showcase how to solve problems like this edge. And again, just show you how powerful Xnerp is. And again, if you want Xnerps and you want to buy the studio version, you can always save 10% with my code. And yeah, leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss my other videos. And I just wanted to show you how to fix an edge here and how Xnerps is shining. See you on the next one. Bye.